OK, let's have a think about how river erosion processes work. Here we've got the cross-section through a river channel, and we've got the four main methods of erosion highlighted on the diagram. Let's talk about each one in turn. First of all, hydraulic action. As you can see, hydraulic action is pointing to these cracks on the river bank and the river bed, if you can see. What happens is, as the water moves over this crack, or especially as the river flow, if it's quite high or quite fast, then the pressure inside this void, inside these cracks, is increased. Over time, as the pressure increases again and again, these cracks start to widen and start to break off bits of the riverbank and bits of the riverbed. And these fall into the river and they become sediment or load for the river. Next up, we can see abrasion. This load, in other words, the sediment that's in the river channel that might have been um, brought into the river channel by hydraulic action or some other method, this stones, these rocks, they can bang against the banks of the river, against the bed of the river, and as they do, they might wear it away, physically break off chunks. A third one is attrition. And you can see at the, bo at the bottom of this diagram, quite a few of these rocks and stones, they're quite rounded. Now that might be because the, uh, the rocks themselves have been subject to attrition, which is the process where the stones themselves roll against the, the banks of the river, the bed of the river, and against each other, and therefore they become rounded and they become smaller. So you can see, for example, this one here has become more rounded than this one here, and it's smaller. That means attrition might have worked on it more. So attrition is a process that works on the actual sediment and not the actual banks or the bed of the river itself. Lastly, we have solution. And as you can see here, solution, there isn't actually anything next to the word solution. That's because it's the chemical action of the water on the rocks and the minerals in the banks and the bed of the river. This means that the very small particles dissolve and, and are carried along without being seen, basically. So solution is the chemical action of the water on the river, uh, the river structure. And this means that solution is the one of the four that will work no matter what the conditions of the river are. If it's in flood or if it's in if it's a very, very low flow, solution will work all the time. Whereas the others, attrition, abrasion, and hydraulic action, all work more when there is much more water and therefore more energy in the river. I right, thank you.